Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to scan documents, files, receipts, or anything with your iPhone for free using apps that are already on your iPhone. You don't have to download them. Let's get started. All right, we're going to start with a couple of examples here. I have an invoice and a receipt. You can do this exactly the same way with any other document or file you have. We're going to start by scanning documents on the iPhone using the Notes app, and then we'll get into another application on the phone that you can use as well. So we'll start by opening up Notes, and you just want to have it on this page or any page here. You want to start by opening up a new note down here. Now, in the past, you were able to click up here and you'd be able to activate or access the scanning option, but Apple moved it to this little paper clip. So now you tap this paper clip and you want to find the option. It says right there, scan documents. So we're going to tap on that and it's going to open up a scanner and you can see it's turning yellow. I'm just moving it so it doesn't scan. All you want to do at this point is hold your phone and get that uh, document or file in the frame. And you can see it's going to appear down there. Same thing if we grab this receipt, we can just hold it over. It's going to read it, gives you a little look at it, and you can see it down there. Now, once you've completed your scans, you can tap these previews at the bottom and you see we have all these options all around. I'm going to just swipe through because I scanned quite a few here. So if you had like 15 pages, you can scan them all and keep them all in one place. If you just want to scan one, you can scan one. So we have these four here. They're duplicates. That's okay. If we don't like one of them, we can just tap this garbage can at the bottom. It'll remove it. Now we only have three. So I'm just going to remove one more because we don't need duplicates. Additionally, if you don't like one of them, you can tap retake. It'll give you the option to do it again. We're just going to grab that one more time. And again, now we're in our preview because we use the retake option. This right here allows you to flip it around. So if it, it comes out a different way or if it was sideways, you can flip it. This is to change the actual color. So in color, so if you have a colored picture, these are just black and white, or if you want it to be grayscale, black and white, or photo, you can choose those as well. This one here allows you to crop it. So if you find that the corners or edges are off, you can drag those little options up and down like you can really move it around like that let's just say just so you can see that i actually did it i'll hit change now you can see we have that angle at the top you wouldn't want to do that you'd obviously want to keep it straight but just for this example and then up top we have done so when you're done you tap done and now you're back ready for the next scan if you're happy with your scan at the bottom you'll see it says save to we can tap that it's going to save it and now our scan is available to us right here within our note. You can see, if we go back to my main page of my notes app, I can tap on it. There it is. I can use all the regular note features. I can tap this right here so I can see the pages that I've scanned. And now they're saved nicely within the notes app. And from here, you can actually share this up top as well. So if you need to send it via email or text or anything like that, you can tap this share button. It opens up all of those options here. I've just blocked out some of my contacts, but basically you can airdrop it, send it through messages, Gmail, Facebook, X, if you use Apple Mail, any software you have there as well. If you scroll down a little more, you have other options here as well. So you can save it to files, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. And you can actually mark up on this as well and so on. So that gives you more control over your scan. Additionally, from here, you can see we have three dots if we tap on each of these little options. And when you tap on those three dots, you get some extra options here as well. So you can insert more things from a file, insert blank pages, crop the page, filters, rotate, copy, and you can even scan again. So you can open up the scanner and add more scans to that page. Now, while we're in the scanner here, let's go over a couple of these options you have at the top when you're scanning. So for example, if we're gonna scan our receipt once again, here we have an option where it says auto on off, and we can actually set the light or the flash on our phone to be on. So if it's a little bit darker where you are, now it's going to flash with the light. You saw that just a little bit right there. It'll save it. And we also have those filters, so grayscale and so on. So for example, let's just say we had this right here. We'll just use some markers. 
so you can see what it does for the grayscale. Now, if we set this to grayscale, you'll see it's going to automatically turn that into a gray scaled photo or a scan. You can do the same thing with black and white and photo, and that way your scans will either be in color, grayscale, black and white, and you have full customization on that as well. Once again, when you're done, you can choose to save it here and it'll save it to those as well. And now you have those extra scans within that notes folder. So if you're doing taxes and things like that and you want one note to be all your gas receipts or anything like that, you can do that and just continuously add scans in like this. Now, one of the biggest features or important features, at least for me when I use this, is to attach all of these to the files app. And I like to use the files app over the notes app for this. And I scan using the files app as well. So the files app is actually on your phone and it's this one here. It has a little file folder icon. And if you tap on that, it opens up a page like this where you can actually save things just like you do on a PC or a Mac. So it's like having an explorer folder or a finder folder right on your iPhone. So when you download things from the internet, they go to this files app and they're all there. You'll probably notice a whole bunch of files you have here, especially if you tap on recent down here. I'm in the browse section. So that's where you wanna go when you open this up. But this is where we can actually save all our scans and add little folders just like you would on a computer. I like doing it that way. It's easier to organize for me. So what you would do in that case you tap on the share icon again, scroll all the way down to where you see save to files. And if we tap on that, it opens up this page and you can see here, it's going to automatically save it on my phone. However, I recommend you organize it from here right away. So tap on that, tap on browse again, and then choose where you wanna save it. So if you want it just to be on your phone, you can choose that. If you want it to be on your iCloud, you can do that if you want it to be in your downloads folder and so on. So just for this example, let's just go to the on my phone and we'll tap save. Now, when we open our files app again, and we go to the on my phone, just scroll up and down to find it. Mine right here is called invoice. I tap on it. You can see there's the invoice, there's the receipt, there's a little marker, and then the receipt that I kind of angled when I made the edit. So now it's here. And the reason I like this is because it's like a computer, you know, it's in a folder. Just for me, it's easier. I can share it out. So you tap the share button right there. Again, you can share it using all of these different options here. But what I like too, is that when you open up, let's say Gmail, or for example, if we open up the Apple Mail, we've got a new message and we're just gonna tap in here once and then tap again, it'll bring up all those extra options. And we're just gonna keep tapping this arrow until we get to the end where it says insert or attach file right here. I'll talk about scan document in a second, but we're gonna attach our file. That automatically opens up our files app. You may have to go across here, look in recents, look for the file you want, but mine's here. And that way you can directly insert these from your files. You can't insert them directly from your notes, meaning that you're gonna have to go into notes app and create or share it through email. So this gives you more, I guess, options when you're doing things through the email and now it's in there and these are saved in PDF format. So most people, when you're sending things like this, whether it's real estate or things like that are PDFs. So it works well that way. Additionally, you saw within the mail app here, if we tap again twice and bring up those options, you go to the end again, you can scan straight from the email as well using those same scanner abilities we just talked about and I showed you. So if you wanna do it that way, you can as well. So let's go back now to our files app. I'm gonna show you how you can scan receipts, scan documents, anything you need to scan using the files app. And this is my preference. And that's just to keep things organized but again, it's up to you and your productivity and what you do. So we're in our files app here. Always look for these three dots up at the top in the files app, no matter where you are, it seems to give you the ability to scan documents just like that. We're on the browse page, but it works in recents as well. So tap on that three dots. We're gonna tap scan documents and it's gonna work pretty much the same way. 
grab your document and everything there is available to you. And you can see this time it's in blue. That's how it does it with the files application. So now we've got our scan in there. We can tap, you get those same previews, but it's blue because the files app is blue. Notes is yellow. So that's why you get those two colors, but everything works the same way as I showed you with the notes app. Your options are at the bottom. If you don't like it, delete it. When you're done, you tap done at the top. But this time when you hit save, it's gonna open up like this. You can change the name down here to anything you want. So if I wanna call it test, I can, and then save it up top. Now it's saved, and this in case it went into my iCloud drive, and it's gonna save it there. If you want to add folders so that you can organize all of this stuff, you tap up here, you say new folder, give it a name, and then you can just drag things in there. So tap and hold and just drag it into the folder like that. And you can do that with all of the documents that would be applied to that folder. So that's how you scan documents on the iPhone for free using the apps that are already on your iPhone. Files is my preference, but Notes works just as good in most cases. Use what works best for you. If you have any questions or run into any issues, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. And I hope this saves you money and you don't have to purchase those applications in the App Store to use this feature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed this video to hit the like button and check out some of my other videos. There's a link in the description to my full iPhone tips, tricks and tutorial series where you can learn how to get the most out of your iPhone. As always, I will see you in the next one.